Good day, Father Matt Williams here in my parked car. I hope you are well. All right, so we're on day six in St. Louis de Montfort's preparation for total consecration. And today, St. Louis got us reflecting another on another passage from Thomas Akempis's Imitation of Christ. And this one is looking at the fathers of the church as well as the saints that lived in the life of the church and the extraordinary things that they've done with their lives. And it's important for us to study in the life of the church. It's important for us to study our heroes, our saints. Our saints are our MVPs. They are our Catholic all-stars. They are our Hall of Famers. These are the men and women who live Christianity in an extraordinary way. They cooperated with God's grace in such a powerful, beautiful, amazing way. They would say, it wasn't really them. It was Christ's grace in them and they cooperated with the grace of God. They died to self. They died to their human will and they lived for God. And because they, they lived for God and, and united with his grace, they did extraordinary things. As a friend of mine says, right, Father Matt Williams plus no grace equals Father Matt Williams. Father Matt Williams plus the grace of Jesus Christ equals miracles. That when we cooperate with the grace of God, miraculous things, we become changed in extraordinary things come in and through us. Amazing things happen through us for the kingdom of God. What was the secret of the saints? Well, water bottle here, right? So I used to think, and, I, and I've shared this before, some of you have heard this, right? I used to think that holiness and in, in living the Christian life was that we would go to prayer in the morning or something like that, or, or you'd get filled up, the bottle would be filled up to the top, and then throughout the day you would go and you'd pour yourself out. You know, and then maybe at the end of the day or the next morning, you come back and you get filled up again. And that, and that Christianity was about getting filled up to the bottle and then pouring yourself out. Sometimes you're pouring yourself out so much that you just get so dry and burnt out. and You can't wait to get on retreat or you need a day off or something like that because you go, go, go to get filled up again. And what I learned was is that I was actually, I was wrong. And the, the truth is, is that we're not, this is, this is our supply tank. When we start to get to the, when we start to consume this, like just like when I'm driving and I'm running low on gas, the red light tank should go on. The red, the red, the the my emergency light goes on. I need to fill my gas tank. When we start to tap into this, we're actually starting to say, "Uh oh, you need to go to gas, get some gas really soon." In reality, the way that we're supposed to be operating in the Christian life is from the overflow. So if I had my other hand available and I was able to pour a pitcher of water into this until it couldn't fit anymore, and then the water would start overflowing, bubbling over. That, the overflow, is how we're supposed to live our day. We're supposed to live our day in the overflow. There's that song, let the river flow, let the river flow, Holy Spirit come. We're supposed to live our days out of the overflow. My service, my charity, the forgiveness, all the things that I do in the name of Christ is supposed to be from the overflow, not from the reserves. Not from the reserves, which means we have to have a vibrant prayer life. They say that Blessed John Paul II would make frequent stops to the tabernacle, the, the, the chapel, wherever he was throughout the course of the day. I've heard a number of somewhere like 20 times a day he would stop to visit the chapel. I don't know about you. He's the Pope and he's a saint. And if he had to stop 20 times, how much more do I have to stop in the course of my day to step back and connect with Jesus, to pray, to contemplate heaven, to enter and to meditate? to be filled up again so that I can continue loving in his name. The saints, as you read about today, did extraordinary things from their great services and sacrifices to their great lengths and prayer that they went through to also the great, sac um, the great persecutions they suffered for the name of Jesus. They were able to do that because they lived out of the overflow. Get filled up today and live in the overflow and great things will happen because your name plus the grace of Jesus equals miracles. God bless you.